2012 was a very dark time for Rangers, a very bad time indeed, and it was that bad that Ali McCoist wouldn't even wish it on their darkest and dearest enemy, Celtic Football Club. Ali McCoist is as honest as they come. He might not be able to admit that Dessels is a better player than him just yet, but he is admitting that he would miss Celtic Football Club if they were plunged from the top division of Scottish football all the way down to League Two. But when I look at Celtic, I don't think that they would finish 27 points behind the winners in the Championship. Let's put it that way. I think Celtic would come straight back up in three seasons. Don't strike me as a club that would flounder about in the Diddy Leagues. Yeah, I think... I actually think not much is made of that. And also, they wouldn't they wouldn't lose a... What is it? 6-0 on aggregate? Against Mullerwell? Or was it uh, not that bad? I think it was that bad. It was that bad. 6-0 or 6-1? I mean, why is more not made of that season? Yeah. I was it McCoy? I think McCoy was the manager. Like, for me, that... Rangers finished 27 points behind heart. That's... And, and it never really gets talked about. It's... And you know one really brings it up. I mean, you hear about the bad times for clubs. Fuck me, that must have been a bad season. I think Rangers are lucky. And you know what? It, it, was, it, was, it was an error kind of before social media. It, I, I'm not saying the mid-2010s, right? Like, we didn't have social media. But if it happened now, it would be a lot worse. Would you, do you not agree with that? Did it also help that Celtic weren't great and that was during the Ronnie Dial era? Aye, they weren't great in what they were doing. They were still whipping out league titles. Aye, they so. I mean, come on. No, but let's be real. If Celtic can win league titles, right, and you expect them to win, Rangers should be winning the championship against fucking Hearts. I'd expect Rangers to win a championship by 27 points. Yeah. Not fucking lose it by 27 points. Now, is this fair play by McCoy, or is it here? No, you need to you need to wish the worst on your enemies. Yeah, I believe McCoy was the manager at the time, though, so... Maybe so it's dark he days, knows all it? about it. Yeah, maybe that's why he doesn't wish it on Celtic. Maybe it hurt him more than most. Uh, yo, he, this is what he says, right? Um, two 0 up against who was it? Two 0 up against Berwick Rangers, and then they lost three two with fifteen minutes to go. This is what he said, though, right? He said, "No, bottom three would suit me fine for Celtic. The games against each other, what we are generally live for. I was at the three three game at Ibrox, tremendous. When Rangers went down to the third division, I don't care what anybody says. You missed us. You missed the old firm games because there's something special about them. So I understand that. I don't think Liverpool fans would want Everton to be successful, but they love the games against them, and they would miss the games against them." I'm actually going to disagree, right? I think it's one thing the club dying. I'm going to maybe I shouldn't use that word. Um, that didn't happen. Mate. Maybe it's one thing the club. ninety four though. Maybe it's one thing the club completely season to excess. But for one season, are you telling me you wouldn't love Celtic to get relegated and, and, and not have an old firm in the league match in the the, fo- the following league? You t- you see as much that. see as much as the rivalry, right? It it need both clubs need each other. See if you offered me right now for Celtic to go through ten years of fucking misery, I'd bite your hand off clean at it. No, I think most fans would. No, I, I don't think the I, I don't think I think there's people that wouldn't like the thought of one club just totally season to exist. I, I think that's different. But McCoy's to saying he, he wouldn't want Celtic to get relegated. Think of the banter you would have. Celtic fucking being shite. Enough to finish in the bottom two. Rangers pretty much guaranteed a league title, losing all their best players, having to start from scratch, having to rebuild. That would give you, surely, a few seasons of a head start. But if you look at it from like McCoy's playing career, he was playing against like an inferior Celtic, so he's used to that. Yeah, so doesn't he want it again? Well, maybe he does, but I can kind of respect it, where he's coming from. Because I, I do think both clubs kind of... I don't of, know if I believe it. I think both clubs do feed off each other in that sense, but I, I'm not. I, I would love it to happen to Celtic. I, 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 I pro- would I want them to die? Probably not, because I think if I think if Rangers die, a bit of Celtic dies, and I think a bit of Celtic die, Rangers die. I think that's just the way it goes. No, I agree with that, but I mean, again, with the whole Liverpool comparison, I think Liverpool fans would love to. No, but I, I, I think I think Liverpool fans would love to. Love I think it Liverpool if, would be on the Everton. I think if Everton died and to stop to exist tomorrow, Liverpool could go, go on. The rivalry's not no, really there. Hold on, but McCoy's is saying that if it's a final day shootout, right between Everton and I don't know, um, Nottingham Forest, he thinks that Liverpool fans don't want Nottingham Forest to win to send Everton down to the Championship. I'm not buying that. No, I'm not buying it. Yeah, it's like the games against Aberdeen. Man, Man, no, but it's like the games against Aberdeen are big. But here, I want Aberdeen to go down. Do you think Man United are thinking, 
Fuck, you know what? Man City are dominant, but I don't want them to think. See if they have a bad season. You think Man, Man United are like, oh, I'd, I'd hate Man City to go down to League I know two. Mark Goldbridge supports Nottingham Forest, but I can guarantee he preferred when Man City were uh, at Main Road. They had nothing. Main, about it. No, I've seen They're on the start, of course. Hibs got relegated, I'd find it funny as fuck. Yeah. But I don't want them to. I don't want them to cease to exist because then, yep. then, then your rivals are gone, and I, like you, I agree with you. I mean, it, it does take away something, but it's like if, see if Barcelona died, Real Madrid are going to be. I know they're not. But what, what, city rivals, obviously. What but. McCoist is basically saying there is, he wants Rangers to be better than Celtic, but he wants Celtic to be, be the best of the rest. Well, he did say the bottom three would suit me fine, as in if they were around the bottom of the league. I don't see that logic in McCoist. I see the logic to a degree, but again, I think... All right, hold on. I'll, I'll, if I'll, we put I'll, up for no, a wait, poll... Wait, I'm giving you three finishing positions this year for Celtic, right? And you can pick what... You get to pick where we want, right? I'm going low. First, 10th or 12th. 12th, every well, day of the way. I'd pick 12th. 12th. I don't I, care I, about the fold. I'd pick 12th as well. Even if it was giving you a tenth at title for some reason. But if Celtic were going to get a... If Celtic were going to get a points deduction and it was either... Enough to make them still win the league, finish 10th or finish 12th. I, mean, I, I think, <laughs> 12, I think the joy of them going down triumphs the missing of the old firm games. 100%. I don't know what McCoy's is on about. Like, I get it. Would, I, would McCoy's no love to get it round Sutton? I don't know. Get it right up, you big bastard Celtic or relegate. I mean, come on, of course you would. Come on, McCoy's. I get it right, the old firm games, you would miss them. But, meet them in the cup. No, but see, during those years when there wasn't a bunch of old farm games, I'm sure were Celtic fans like, "This is pish winning the no, league." No, I tell there. you what, though, I think when I think when Rangers weren't in the league and or back then when they were and they met in the cup, it felt like a big deal. They had that 2015 16 cup game. So, whatever. Barry Barry McKay won their goal. You know what? Something I think four four games against each other is too much anyway. As so, would you really miss it for one season? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. But that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Ali McCoy. I, I see where he's coming from, but we all, we all deep down, know what we want here, and it, and it's not the it's not the way he's going. Wait, you think something when they want Rangers to get relegated? Of course he would. You man. think Chris Boyd when they want Rangers, uh, Celtic to get relegated? I. It's almost like a case because it's already happened to Rangers, but say it had never happened. I bet you've asked Celtic fans in two thousand eight, but just before it. Yeah, would you like Rangers to go down to Division 3? Of course they fucking would. Mm-hmm. 100%. It's vice versa, man. That's just how don't, it works. Don't talk shit, Ali. Yo, the games are great, right? And it, it would be a major effect on the league. But... I bet you Dessers would want the Rangers. And it's not only that. And I get it. I, I do think you value your trophies more when you're actually going up against a better team. And I, I, I know people are oh, Celtic, those trophies don't count. They, they won them, they count. But at the end of the day... See the, the damage that's been done to Rangers in the past decade and a bit with the, in the trophy count? Could you imagine if this happened to Celtic? They'd, they'd get it right back, potentially. Yeah, I know. So, anyway, that's where we're going to leave it, guys. Alan McCoy, is he wrong or is he right? I haven't put this up for a poll. We'll put it up for a poll. What is going on there? But anyway, till next time. Peace.